consider the difference in our actions and God's actions. We often ask, why did you do that? Or why did I act like that? We do act, and yet everything we do is God's creative action. We look back and analyze the events of our lives, but there is another way of seeing a backward and forward at once vision that is not rationally understandable. Only God can understand it. Satan made the excuse, you caused me to fall. Whereas Adam said to God, we did this to ourselves. After this repentance, God asked Adam, since all is within my foreknowledge, why didn't you defend yourself with that reason? Adam answered, I was afraid, and I wanted to be reverent. Whoever acts with respect will get respect. Whoever brings sweetness will be served almond cake. Good women are drawn to be with good men. Honor your friend, or treat him rudely, and see what happens. Love, tell an incident now that will clarify this mystery of how we act freely and are yet compelled. One hand shakes with palsy, another shakes because you slapped it away. Both tremblings come from God, but you feel guilty for the one, and what about the other? These are intellectual questions. The spirit approaches the matter differently. Omar once had a friend, a scientist, Bul Hakam, who was flawless at solving empirical problems. But he could not follow Omar into the area of illumination and wonder. Now, I return to the text, and he is with you wherever you are. But when have I ever left it? Ignorance is God's prison. Knowing is God's palace. We sleep in God's unconsciousness. We wake in God's open hand. We weep God's rain. We laugh God's lightning. Fighting and peacefulness both take place within God. Who are we then in this complicated world tangle that is really just the single straight line down at the beginning of Allah? Nothing. We are emptiness. When you are with everyone but me, you are with no one. When you are with no one but me, you are with everyone. Instead of being so bound up with everyone, be everyone. When you become that many, you are nothing. Empty.